Hello everyone. In this session, I'm going to show you how we can do incision sort in Python. So here I have a list called as A, which has four, one, three, two, five elements. Okay, and now we have to do insertion sort on this particular list. So first thing what I'm going to do is, see, I have taken a word file over here. Okay, and I have taken these elements like this. Okay, and we are going to trace one by one how we are going to do and perform the insertion sort on this particular list. So first of all, how this insertion sort works means, see first what you have to do, you have to start a loop from the first index till the last. Okay, that is going to be your i loop. So let me say like this, for i in range, it starts from one, not zero. Okay, I'm going to leave this element. I'm going to start from the first index till the last. So I'm going to say like this, length of whatever your list a is okay so we are going to loop from the first index till the last index of your particular list and now what i'm going to do is whichever the first element it starts from okay that i'm going to take it as a, a temporary variable which is like a of that particular index i so the first element which it starts on now the t value okay then uh, now the t value okay it is a of i that is one over here so let me just show you in my word sheet that uh, the temporary variable okay it has started from t equal to one so let me just uh, put it here as like this so i is going to start from one three uh, two and five so this is my i loop okay so i is starting from here so here let me just make i variable which is starting from one index okay and now here next thing what we are going to do we are going to take a j variable which starts from the index i minus one okay which means my j value is going to be at this particular location that is four okay see the i value is one so j means i minus one will become zero so here when the temporary variable which I have chosen as t equal to 1 and i is also 1 and now I have chosen j is equal to okay j is equal to i minus 1 so therefore the j value is going to be 0 like this okay so this is what I have taken over here so our temporary variable t is going to be 1 and j is going to be zero at the beginning so let me just put it here in the comments that j is zero right now and our temporary variable is one okay so this is how our insertion start insertion sort is going to start now what we are going to do is okay we are going to loop this j loop in reverse okay we are going to so I'll put it in a while loop saying that see J should be okay greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so this is the first condition means this J loop. Okay, it should not go beyond uh, this uh, zero index means it should be either zero or it should be greater than zero. See that is my first condition which I'm going to put it inside this uh, while loop. Okay, this while loop and along with this I want to check whether this uh, A of J okay this a of j which is 4 right now okay it should not be greater than our temporary variable which is 1 okay so that you have to check every single time see that is a of j okay a of j should not be less than okay if it is greater than see if it is greater than your temporary variable okay if it is greater than your temporary variable okay then what we need to do is we need to swap a of j plus 1 see a of j is this one and a of j plus one will become this one so it's going to swap okay so here i'm going to put it like this okay i'm going to say a of j plus one okay you put the value of a of j okay and we will decrement the j value by one okay so this is what is going to happen inside the j loop so let me just come up to my uh, word file okay so here i'm saying that see first of all is j greater than zero so 
or equal to zero so here this condition satisfies so it will be inside the while loop and one more condition is is a a of j okay a of j see let me put it here like this is this uh, a of j which is four okay is it uh, let me just uh, change this to the greater than symbol okay see is four greater than like the temporary variable which we have chosen one yes so see if four is greater than one and uh, this j is uh, see right now j is zero okay j is greater than or equal to zero so both conditions here are getting satisfied so it will enter the while loop okay and if it is s okay if it is s what we have to do in a of j plus one we are going to put a of j value okay so a of j value so a of j plus one will be a of one so let me put it here a of j plus one is nothing but a of one right now okay and in that position we are going to put a of j that is four okay and then this uh, okay then this uh, see this is a of zero okay see this is a of j which is at zero so a of j plus one here okay this is going to become four right now okay at this position like this uh, okay and then a of j minus one so a of j is zero right now and it becomes minus one over here okay so j becomes minus one so here j is equal to minus one okay so this uh, whole thing is going to happen in the while loop okay and at the end of this round okay at the end of the first while condition we are going to get this as the answer so here we have three and here we'll be having two and here we'll be having five so let me put it here so this will be the while loop okay this is going to be the first iteration of while loop okay and here we are going to get a gap over here and j is minus one so means it has gone out of this okay see let me just put it here uh, let me just say right click and insert another column to the left okay see guys right now my j value is over here because it has become minus one so j is equal to minus one here it starts with zero so here okay we have our j condition okay so let me write it here so j is minus one right now okay so what we need to do is see after the while loop ends okay after the while loop ends okay let me just come here so here when the while loop ends okay i'm going to say first of all a of j plus one okay a of j plus one so let me just uh, go to back to my word file see when j equal to minus one okay j is equal to minus one means i am doing a of j plus one which means j is going to become zero so j is equal to zero and a of j plus one okay a of j plus one i'm going to put the temporary variable okay i'm going to put the temporary variable so minus one plus one it is going to become zero so a of zero so this one okay this value okay we are going to put the temporary variable our temporary variable we have chosen as one over here okay so technically at the first while loop when it is over and it comes out of the while loop we are going to put uh, that temporary variables in a of zero so this is where the insertion process is going to happen so this is a t variable which i am going to take okay and once uh, like this we are going to iterate through each and every condition of i i is right now one and in the next iteration i is going to become two from three to four okay j loop is going to start from here and in reverse direction it is going to stay above this zero level okay and it is going to start every time from zero itself so this is how we are going to do the insertion process so let us print the fully sorted array a and you are going to see like this okay so let me just execute this statement and as you can see we have got one two three four and five okay see this is this is how we are going to do this insertion process and in the first iteration so here i'm going to get 
one as the output okay when the first time the loop runs it is going to be like this okay and this is when i is equal to one okay this is when i is equal to one okay now let me trace this program okay for the other values also okay see and the, in the first iteration i was this much see one three two and five okay and now in this iteration okay i is going to start from three two and five okay and see let me let me do like this huh? see right now the temporary variable is going to be three okay and i value here it is starting from two so definitely j is going to be i minus one okay that is j is equal to two minus one okay which is equal to one okay which is equal to one so therefore j is one right now so this is where the j loop is going to start and in reverse okay like this so here we have j equal to one and first of all here i'm going to check whether this one is greater than or equal to zero yes sir. the first condition satisfies and i want to check whether a of j okay is whether a of j greater than the temporary variable which is three right now okay so a of j that is a of one okay so this a of one is right now four okay so whether this four whether this four is greater than three yes so obviously four is greater than three so what we need to do when it is s sir, we are going to say in a of j plus one we are going to swap it with a of j okay so j is one right now so a of j plus one becomes a of two so in a of two we are going to put the value of a of j okay so a of j is the value three right now okay is the value three so in a of j we are going to put three as the value and j equal to j minus one okay so j here is going to be decremented by one value and it's going to become zero okay like this it is going to continue so like this here here already we have one okay and here we have just inserted four okay means a of j plus one we are we are inserting with a of j value okay and then rest of the values are going to be like this two and five okay like this okay and then in the next iteration it's going to check whether this one is greater than here three or not okay so since it is not okay so this uh, j minus minus is not going to get performed and here okay j plus one a of j plus one we are going to insert the temporary variable okay so here is where the temporary variable three is going to get inserted like this so at the end of the second iteration of the while loop okay we are going to get the values like this one three four two and five okay like this at each iteration okay the j loop is going to go in reverse and it is going to keep on inserting the values at a of j plus one equal to t okay and at the end of the iteration we are going to see the fully sorted loop like this array four and five so this is how you trace a insertion sort program and here is the entire program for that okay i hope you like this video okay now i'm going to do the same thing okay in java as well so let me minimize this screen okay i'm using eclipse editor to write this particular program okay so here i have a class called as insertion sort and here is the main function of that particular program and here i have created an array called as a with these elements inside that okay so now we are going to perform the insertion sort on this as well so i'm going to start a loop uh, integer i i'm going to start from one same just as how we started in uh, python i should be less than a dot length then i plus plus open and close curly brace for this one okay now what i need to do is i need to start a loop you can use add the while loop or uh, a for loop i'm going to use a for loop this time see you can say integer j you start from whatever i minus one value is there okay and j should stay greater than or equal to zero okay it should not go to the negative side and j minus minus okay we are going to loop the j loop in reverse okay and this is the first condition it has to 
satisfy that j should be always greater than or equal to 0 okay and then again we have to check whether and okay and is written like this in java double ampersand symbol but here one more small change i want to do is see as soon as this i loop starts okay i'm going to take an integer variable j okay i'm going to declare it outside okay i'm going to declare it outside uh, the j loop so this condition you have to follow in insertion sort okay and now first of all when this i loop starts i'm going to take an integer variable temporary temporary variable t and put whatever the a of i value is there as the temporary variable so these are the first two things you have to take care okay while doing the program in java okay so when the j loop starts okay so first condition is that j should be greater than or equal to zero and one more condition is that a of j okay a of j if it is greater than t then only it is going to enter this j loop okay then only it is going to enter this j loop and we are going to replace a of j by a of j plus one by a of j that's it okay and this thing is keeps on happening until the entire j loop is going to end and once when the for loop for j ends what we are going to do we are going to put the temporary variable inside the a of j plus one as we have shown here in the word file see a of j plus one as soon as it becomes minus one okay from zero it is going to become minus one and we are going to say a of j plus one okay a of j plus one we put our temporary variable like this okay so this is how we are going to perform the insertion sort logic in java as well okay and then finally here let me put it in comments printing the sorted array in java okay so for that we have we will have to loop once again so for integer i i am going to start from the zero index i should be less than a dot length and then i plus plus okay system dot out dot print ln or just say print a of i and after that each digit of i i am going to leave some space like this okay so this is the entire sorted array we are going to get from in session sort so let me just save the program right click say run as java application and you are going to see the fully sorted array like this okay so i hope you like this video uh, please like and subscribe my channel okay i'll be posting a lot of uh, videos like this thank you very much